day two in Fort William, Scotland. Well, not technically day two because we've not been here 24 hours yet. So if you watched the previous video where we took a 10 and a half hour journey to get here, you'll know we did a bit of wild camping as part of that video as well. Because we've never experienced wild camping and we thought, hey, why not? It's a perfect place to do it. Wild camping's legal in Scotland. Be a perfect thing to do. However, that didn't go to plan. And the wild camping did not go well for us at all. So what we've ended up doing instead is hiring ourselves a little uh, a little tent pitch in a caravan park. And we'll make this a video review of that site instead, as well as some hiking around Ben Nevis. Um, we would have loved to have done more wild camping, especially out in uh, Ben Nevis, but we're just not experienced enough, I don't think yet. We've kind of realized that now. Um, yeah, and you've got to be able to cut your losses. <laughs> but we did do some wild camping, so we've added to our experience. You know, you've got to look at the positives. And uh, we're really, the primary reason why we're here is to do some hiking. So uh, we're going to do that today. So we've got a 45 minute walk over to the campsite. Uh, it doesn't open until 12 p.m. either, so that's fun. Because it's currently seven in the morning. <laughs> but we're going to go and get some breakfast on. Maybe a cup of tea. And uh, yeah, try and get the day started as we plan to end it. You know, I've been looking for thistles everywhere in Scotland and I finally found it. But um, I don't think I'm going to find the national animal of Scotland. Uh, if you're not sure what it is, then uh, maybe somebody in the comments can help out and explain what the national animal, animal of Scotland is. We can go and look it up on Google. Either way, whichever one works for you. Um, but yeah, you'll be very surprised. So we've arrived at the uh, Ben Nevis Visitor Centre and uh, yeah, we're both exhausted. It's, uh, it was a 45 minute walk from Fort William to the, um, the Visitor Centre here. Or about a 40 minute walk actually. And bear in mind, we'd already done like half an hour, an hour before that worth of, worth of, worth of walking. Worth of, worth, of, worth of walking already. So, uh, and we've got very, very heavy backpacks. I mean, look at the size of these things. So, yeah, we've, we've definitely tested ourselves, but we're just, uh, we've just we got to wait for the, uh, the caravan park to open now. Uh, it's a 12 o'clock start. So I think we've got another three hours roughly. So we're just gonna chill out in this cafe for, for a while. We've got a cup of tea, which we've really need. And uh, yeah, then we're gonna get to come to the campsite. But I've already been uh, swarmed by midges, but it seems that the uh, repellent spray that I've got on is working because uh, they haven't come to bite me just yet. So hopefully, now we've got all this sorted, we're in the right area. Things are gonna pick up a bit, look, look a bit more smooth. We'd like to do a little bit of uh, Ben Nevis. We're not gonna scale the whole thing, but maybe get up high enough for some cool, uh, cool shots. We'll see how much energy we've got though, but yeah, glad we're here, glad we're relaxing a little bit more now. So after a rather long wait, we're finally here at the site and uh, very kindly they let us come in a little bit earlier. So check-in was 12, but uh, we managed to convince them to let us come a little bit earlier. It's now I think about 10 o'clock, so we've got a two hour earlier check-in, absolute result. I'm well chuffed about that. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we've got a pretty amazing view of Ben Nevis, we're setting up just here, and there's Ben Nevis right there. Um, we're not going to climb Ben Nevis because we're not prepared or equipped to climb a mountain of that, that, that height, um, nor are we fit enough. But um, what we are going to do is going to hike around the area and see what it has to offer in terms of its beauty and in terms of its, uh, you know, scenery and uh, points of interest. So we're going to get set up now. Gonna have a little rest as well. We're both exhausted from our uh, wild camp yesterday, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, give the place a little look. So join us then. There we go, all set up. Just the last finishing touches, and uh, what a view from the tent. Can't take credit for this. I was the supervisor. Tammy did all this. <laughs> I don't know where to start. 
I'm still learning. But yeah, good stuff. Oh, we're finally all settled down in the tent and it's raining, which is always good for me because I love a bit of rain. And uh, yeah, from outside our tent, we've got a view of Ben Nevis. So just had a good, probably hour long nap. Needed to refresh, but the view from the tent ain't too bad at all. Got old Ben Nevis there. Yeah, go and explore some, some more of this further, I think. And we're off, off on an adventure. We've uh, packed the bag and uh, as you can see here, I've got this one this time. And we just got the basic essentials in there just to do a bit of cooking. Got some uh, snacks, got a water filter and uh, got everything we need. So um, yeah, we're just gonna get up there now. We're not gonna scale it obviously, but we're gonna get up there and have a closer look at the, uh, the scenery and hopefully find some interesting stuff up there and yeah, see what we discover along the way. Look at this man. It's like something out of Skyrim, if you're familiar with that game. It feels weird to be standing there looking at this because uh got some sheep hanging out, chilling. It feels weird to be looking at this because I don't live in an area or have access to an area that looks remotely like this. Um, concrete buildings and stuff, mainly what I see. So, and I always wanted to see Skyrim in real life. If you're familiar with that, it's a video game. Oh, if you're, sorry, if you're not familiar with that, it's a video game. And uh, yeah, I kind of feel like I'm seeing it in real life right now. And just look at that. Mad. There's the cafe we were in earlier. Yeah, it's nice in there. So as you can see behind us, the old Ben Nevis is uh, a little bit foggy today and our ambition was to go up there and try and get a bit of content so you could see the landscape but unfortunately there's nothing to see because it's foggy. So we're not hauling our unhealthy butts up there in order to get some fog when we can stay on the ground and get some perfectly beautiful footage. So. Uh, we're going to find an alternative trail, one that's a bit more flat and uh, hopefully leads the, uh, the walk into the professionals but certainly in a few years time we'll come back and conquer this but you know we've not done any kind of training for this. Um, it would have been better for us to do this last summer actually wouldn't it Tam? Last summer. Yeah we did a huge yeah. little walk I think we walked every day about 10 miles across quite, uh, quite rugged terrain but yeah, I just don't see the benefit of even going part way up, to be honest. So yeah, we're quite glad that we've taken this route. It's uh, very pretty. Mm. Um, I mean, Scotland's like nothing I've ever seen before. I mean, we've been Edinburgh and we fell in love with that place, but the Highlands are on another level, man. If you get a chance to come here, do it. It's not cheap to get here. You could even get here to Lon uh, from London on the Caledonian sleeper train. Um, we're thinking about doing that ourselves soon, actually. So that should be pretty fun. 
but yeah it's just views like this man I mean it's a little bit cloudy actually so you can't see it all too well got a nice flowing stream brilliant So, time for a bit of grub. Stopping for a little break, and I've got chili con carne, Tam's got minced beef and onion, and we've got some rice. It's a bit of a strange combo, but we needed food that was easy to pack and quick to prepare. But yeah, what a view we've got. And also, we can see the old Ben Nevis as well. So, yeah, not the, not the worst of spots. There we go then people, so chili con carne and rice for me. And Tammy's got the minced beef and rice. So you're probably wondering why we're eating out of these. And that's because these plates, we didn't realize just how sloppy this would be to be honest, but, hmm. It's good enough, we're getting some weird looks because obviously this is a public footpath. So people are coming past and they're thinking, what the hell are these guys doing? But we had to eat. But yeah, the worst part was is that we brought the kettle and uh, we didn't actually bring... Mm. Thank you very much. You too. And we brought the kettle, but we didn't bring the, um, the tea bags or the sugar. Yeah, brought the, brought the kettle, brought the water, brought the milk. Brought everything but the, <laughs> but, but, but the sugar, yeah. And uh, we both like sugar in our tea, so uh, yeah. Still got a lovely view though. And uh, this is what it's all about. Getting out there in the wilderness, cooking. Obviously we made sure this is a safe service. We had a little look. Made, we, we've done this before as well, where we've cooked it on a table. And this is uh, elevated and it's all uh, absorbs the heat from this actual panel here itself, Al. <laughs> um, that was a smart move, wasn't it? So uh, yeah. Can think of better, worse places to have lunch. Now the clouds are back, yeah, they cleared away for a little bit, but they're back. And for afters, we've got some shortbread. So, uh, can't come to Scotland and not have shortbread. But because we forgot our tea, can't enjoy that with a cup of tea until later when we get back to the campsite. But, uh, you know, we can enjoy the views. And we're going to do a little bit more hiking, and then we're probably going to head back because this battery's dying, phone batteries are dying. And ironically enough, our campsite, believe it or not, is just there. I don't think that is. It looks like it. Back at the campsite, chilling for a bit. Done a decent bit of hiking and uh, stopping for a brew and uh, overlooking Ben Nevis whilst we do just that. Uh, getting that boiled and uh, gonna enjoy a cup of tea shortly.
So it's been a good little, good little trip. We've enjoyed every moment of it. Um, we're gonna finish off with a bite to eat. We've got more tins of food, a bit more rice. So we'll just get them down as, um, and yeah, we're just gonna continue enjoying the view. And uh, we've got a 10 hour journey back home tomorrow again. But this time it's got a little bit more of an interesting twist because rather than going straight back to Peterborough, from Edinburgh, we've got a stop off at Grantham, if you're familiar with that. And then we've got to get a bus from Grantham to Peterborough. So uh, that's gonna be fun. And hopefully it doesn't get canceled because there's currently a rail strike on today. And um, if the strike carries through till tomorrow, our train will get canceled. So there's mac and cheese for Tammy, and I'm having Bombay potatoes and rice for my dinner. Happy days. Yorkshire tea in Scotland. <laughs> Can never get too far away from that stuff, it's brilliant. Another rainy, wet, cold day from the Scottish Highlands. It's our final day here, and uh, so far so good. Doesn't seem that the train's been cancelled. Um, start my day with a brew, quite a strong one. I think I need it. And um, yeah, last night sleep was virtually impossible to be honest. Um, couldn't couldn't relax, couldn't rest. Um, <clears throat> had some people sleeping near us, which uh, they. Uh, want some very very noisy beds you know the uh the blow up ones where you roll and it makes loads of noise I mean, it's not their fault is it obviously but i had one on each side so like, it was like a musical symphony of rolls yeah and i've got the same problem so i've got a roll mat so uh I've, you know i just couldn't get comfortable i was tossing and turning trying to get on my side and that wasn't working and i was trying to get you know, laid on my back and that weren't working either and yeah, I think I got about five hours sleep in tight, which is still pretty good to be honest, considering. Um, and then we had the uh, the air rescue team flying above our head yesterday because there was a rescue. Just speaking to the bloke at the bar there, and uh, yeah, apparently there's uh, been eleven. De there was eleven deaths on uh, Ben Nevis last year. Eleven? Can you believe that? And it's uh, apparently one of the most dangerous mountains. Um, I think people misunderestimated. They look at it, and obviously you look at it from here, and it's a a beautiful mountain it doesn't look that challenging does it you know what i mean it looks it looks doable but a lot of people don't realize the power of these things you know you see a lot of people just traipsing up there but yeah what a lovely way to start the morning waking up to that as always and uh yeah having a nice tea and uh we're just gonna get on the train it's about 11 half 11 roughly our train home um, got a long one today, so we've got to go from Peter uh, from here to Ed uh, Glasgow. So Fort William to Glasgow, and then Glasgow back to Edinburgh, and then Edinburgh back to <laughs> to Grantham, um, which is not far from where we live. But then, because the rail lines in London have stopped working, or well, they're doing some work on the tracks or something like that, um, we've then got to get a, uh, a bus from Grantham to Peterborough. So that's going to be fun. I think it's going to be ten and a half hours in total. So if there's any delays or stopovers, you're probably looking at about 11, 12 hours, knowing our luck. But we'll just have to see how it goes. But uh, yeah, it's been a good adventure. First ever time in the Scottish Highlands. Really enjoyed it. Camping was brilliant. I mean, to be honest, like you just wouldn't get that experience from a hotel room. There are no hotels near here that I'm, that I'm aware of, at least, where you can wake up to that view. So uh, yeah, definitely do a bit of camping if you get a chance. And uh, yeah, just uh, if you ever get a urge to come out and camp do it do it near Ben Nevis and if you plan to climb it just be careful because it's uh, quite quite dangerous apparently but um appreciate you all watching and I'll see you in the next video